or having problems with your sinuses, your surgeon may recommend endoscopic sinus surgery. The sinus cavities are air-filled spaces that lie within the bones of your face. They are lined by a mucous membrane and are in continuity with the nasal passage. There are four pairs of sinuses, the frontal sinus, behind the forehead, the ethmoid sinus, between the eyes, the maxillary sinus, behind the cheekbones, and the sphenoid sinus, right under the base of the skull. All these sinuses are filled with air and have a very thin mucous membrane. On the opposite, inflamed sinuses have a very thick membrane and can be filled with fluid, pus, or polyps. Your surgeon can recommend sinus surgery for several reasons. The most common one is chronic rhinosinusitis that is not improving with medical therapy. Other reasons include a growth or mass in your nose, sinuses, or skull base. Chronic sinusitis is an inflammation of the membrane lining your sinus cavities that lasts more than three months. This inflammation can be accompanied by polyps or not. Polyps are grape-like little balls of inflamed tissue that can grow from the sinus membrane and fill your sinuses. If you suffer from chronic sinusitis, you may experience facial pain and headaches, nasal obstruction and congestion, yellow or green discharge from your nose, and loss of smell. Endoscopic sinus surgery is the method of choice for most chronic sinusitis that have failed medical management. It is usually performed in the operating room under general anesthesia. After you are put to sleep, your surgeon will use a small scope and camera to visualize your sinuses and operate through the nose. Therefore, endoscopic sinus surgery is done without having any visible incisions or scar. The main goal of the surgery is to open the natural draining passages of your sinuses and safely remove as many polyps or inflammatory tissue as possible. Depending on your symptoms and imaging results, your surgeon may choose to enlarge the passages from your maxillary sinuses, your ethmoid sinuses, frontal sinuses, and or sphenoid sinuses. Complications are rare, but endoscopic sinus surgery does carry some risks. Four of these risks are nosebleeds, infection, injury to the eye, and cerebral spinal fluid leaking, also known as a CSF leak. Any surgery carries a risk of bleeding. In the case of sinus surgery, it is normal to experience mild nosebleeds for a few days after the surgery. In very rare cases, you could have a severe nosebleed that may require nasal packing or going back to the operating room to stop the bleeding. To reduce the risk of bleeding after surgery, avoid heavy lifting, straining, or intense exercise for up to two weeks after surgery. Any surgery carries a risk of infection. Signs of infection include fever or purulent discharge from your nose. This can be treated with antibiotics. Sinus surgery also carries slight risk of injury to your eye and vision. If you experience any significant eye pain or changes in vision after your surgery, call your surgeon or go to the nearest medical emergency facility. Another rare risk of a sinus surgery is a CSF leak. A CSF leak is caused by a small breach of the thin bone that separates your sinuses from the fluid around your brain, called CSF. If you experience clear fluid dripping out of your nose after your surgery, when straining or bending over, call your surgeon. A CSF leak that is not treated could lead to meningitis, an infection of the lining of the brain. Although sinus surgery helps many patients with chronic sinusitis, polyps and inflammation do have a tendency to come back, with many patients requiring ongoing medical treatment and sometimes repeat surgery. If you have any questions or concerns after your sinus surgery, contact your surgeon's office or go to the nearest medical emergency facility.